Seorang wanita menyiksa seorang pria lumpuh selama tiga hari sebelum merenggut nyawanya. Tapi yang bikin kasus ini jauh lebih sadis dari kasus-kasus lainnya adalah jawaban-jawaban interview pelakunya. You, you this man. Yes. You tortured him. Of course. So it was your pleasure when you committed this murder. <laughs> See, that's kind of uh, I'm thinking I don't know what my lawyer would say if I answered that straight out. Hold on. Yes. Yes, it was. Do you have any guilt about any of that stuff? Maybe? Guilt? Yes. I'm overrun with remorse. <laughs> Hello, Hasis ini dan ini adalah kasus Angela Simpson. Pada 5 Agustus 2009, sekitar jam 5 pagi, ada laporan yang masuk ke pemadam kebakaran kota Phoenix, Arizona, Amerika Serikat yang bilang kalau ada tempat sampah yang kebakar di sekitar sebuah gereja. Apa yang awalnya dikira cuma prank dari orang iseng ternyata jadi cerita horor. Karena ternyata di dalam tempat sampah ini ada potongan tubuh yang hangus terbakar. Kondisinya penuh luka dan bahkan ada paku yang nancep di kepalanya. Dan yang paling ngerinya dari kondisi lukanya ketahuan kalau korban disiksa hidup-hidup. Dari situ aja udah sadis banget kan, tapi kasusnya jadi makin kelam lagi pas ketahuan siapa korbannya. Dari tes sidik jari ketahuan kalau ini adalah potongan tubuh milik dari Mili, seorang pria 46 tahun yang lumpuh dan cuma bisa gerak pakai kursi roda listrik. Kursi rodanya nggak ditemuin di TKP pembakarannya. Selama ini tadi tinggal di assisted living facility atau fasilitas rumah untuk orang-orang berkebutuhan khusus yang nggak bisa hidup sendiri. Tapi walaupun hidup dia terisolasi, orang-orang yang kenal sama Terry ngedeskripsiin dia sebagai salah satu orang paling ramah dan mudah bergaul di situ. Makanya nggak kebayang kenapa bisa ada orang yang benci sama Terry. Apalagi sampai tega ngakuin hal yang luar biasa sadis ke dia. Terry terakhir kerekam CCTV lagi keluar dari gedungnya pada tanggal 2 Agustus jam 8 malam atau tiga hari sebelum tubuhnya ditemuin. Abis pencarian beberapa hari, kursi rodanya ditemuin di dekat kompleks apartemen. Polisi pun ngegeledah apartemen di sekitar situ, di mana ada satu unit yang karpetnya udah dicopot. Dan walaupun isinya udah dibersihin pakai pemuti, tapi polisi berhasil nemuin sisa-sisa darah yang ternyata cocok dengan darahnya Terry. Manajer dari apartemennya pun ngaku kalau pemilik unit ini, Edward McFarland, sempat minjem mobil ke dia buat dipakai sama temennya, Angela Simpson. Pas ngebalikin mobilnya, Edward dengan bangga cerita ke dia kalau temennya ini habis ngebunuh Terry dan ngebuang jasadnya. Dan dia juga ngancem bakal ngebunuh manajer ini kalau dia sampai nekat ngelaporin ke polisi. Nyatanya polisi nggak perlu repot-repot nyari Angela sama Edward. Karena ternyata beberapa hari sebelumnya mereka udah ditahan duluan karena perampokan bersenjata. Pada 18 Agustus, Angela ngaku kalau dia ngebunuh Terry. Dan inilah yang bikin Angela disebut-sebut sebagai salah satu pembunuh paling kejam sepanjang sejarah. Karena dia sama sekali nggak ragu buat ngakuin perbuatan kejinya. So what did he do? What did you do to him? I killed him. How did you do it? I beat him to death. Angela dan Terry kenal satu sama lain, walaupun nggak bisa dibilang deket. Di hari terakhir Terry dilihat, Angela berhasil mancing Terry ke apartemennya dengan ngejanjiin seks dan narkoba. Padahal kenyataannya, Angela sama sekali nggak ada niat buat menuhin janjinya ini. I took him to my house, walked him down the street. I don't know why the media acts like the couldn't walk. He walked very well. Walked him upstairs, kicked his ass, and killed him. Selama tiga hari, Terry diperangkap di apartemennya dan disiksa habis-habisan. Dia digebukin pakai besi dan palu, ditusuk pakai pisau sebanyak paling nggak 50 kali, ditancepin paku 7 cm di kepalanya, dan giginya dicabutin. Nggak cukup sampai situ, selama siksaan ini Terry dipaksa buat duduk di depan cermin supaya dia bisa nontonin siksaan yang dilakuin ke dia. Did you pull out his teeth? Did you put a hammer into his head? Put a nail in his brain? Yes. Was he alive during this? Some of it. Was he watching, looking at a mirror? Yes. Why'd you do that? Because I wanted him to see what he deserves. Setelah tiga hari itu, lehernya digorok dan dia dicekik dengan kabel TV sampai tewas. Tubuhnya pun dimutilasi, dibuang ke tong sampah, dan dibakar. Kok bisa yang perlakukan sama manusia kayak gitu? Apa sih salahnya Terry sampai-sampai menurut Angela dia harus mati? Dan matinya harus sepelan dan semenyakitkan mungkin. Alasannya cuma karena, berdasarkan Angela, Terry ini adalah seorang intel. Polisi yang nyamar dan berbaur di lingkungan kriminal supaya bisa dapat info buat ngebuang bongkar kejahatan mereka. Angela ngeklaim kalau Terry bukan cuma sekali mamerin ke dia soal ini. Right. 
He thought it was funny that the people he had snitched on would never get out of prison. So I wanted him to know how funny it was that they didn't need to. Biar kalian ngerti kenapa alasan itu udah cukup bagi Angela buat ngerenggut nyawa manusia lain. Kalian pertama perlu tahu dulu soal Angela. Sebenarnya yang bikin kasus Angela ini benar-benar terkenal bukanlah siapa korbannya, cara ngebunuhnya, ataupun alasan ngebunuhnya. Tapi karena Angelanya sendiri. Lebih tepatnya jawaban-jawaban dia terkait sama kasus ini. Di tahanan Angela beberapa kali di interview. Dan di setiap interviewnya ini, cara dia ngejawab selalu tenang, tersusun, dan belak-belakan. Kayaknya bukan pelaku kejahatan. Coba dengan sendiri. You're very upfront. Pretty much. About talking about this killing. Right. You you murdered this man. Yes. You tortured him. Of course. Saat di interview Angela kadang bersikap seakan-akan dia ngebunuh bukan karena kemauan dia sendiri, tapi karena ada sebuah harusan. I know uh, the crimes of passion or something, and you know, in, in the heat of the moment, uh, but to spend three days. Driving nails into a guy's head and pulling his teeth out. Right. Why? I found it necessary. Did you find it pleasurable or exciting, or was there was this just, just a necessary? Necessary. Right. So this was more like a business-like uh, proposition. You were doing something that you felt needed, a job that needed to be done. Right. Tapi dari cara dia ngejawab pertanyaan lain, kelihatannya dia sangat puas sama aksinya. Dan kayak ada kenikmatan tersendiri di balik ceritain di mana dia menyiksa dan membunuh manusia lain. Ini jawaban dia pas ditanya apakah dia nikmatin ngabisin nyawa Terry. So, it was your pleasure when you committed this murder? <laughs> See, that's kind of... Uh, I'm thinking, I don't know what my lawyer would say if I answered that straight out. Hold on, yes. Yes, it was. But, uh... Yeah. It's pretty rewarding work. It's great for the soul. Dan ini jawaban dia pas ditanya lebih detail tentang aksinya. Is it hard to chop up a human body? Nah, not really. You'd be amazed. It's quite simple, actually. You should try it. It's only a felony six. Knock it down to a misdemeanor. This memberment is it's a really low charge. What did you do that you would consider torture? Ripped his teeth out. That's my favorite. How'd you do that? With some needle nose pliers. Kind of rip, you know. Bahkan di tengah-tengah salah satu wawancaranya, pas diminta ngedeskripsiin apa aja yang dia lakuin, dia malah bilang, Can you describe to me the things you did? No. No, because I'll get all excited and he'll be in trouble. No, I don't think I should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's too close for me. You know, get all hot with the story, so leave that alone. Kayaknya ini jadi semacam permainan buat Angela. Karena pas ditanya apakah dia pernah ngebunuh sebelumnya, dia cuma ngasih jawaban-jawaban nanggung. Angela, is this the first time you've done this? No. It's not the first time. What else have you done? That's not. But you've killed other people? Well, they'll find that out. Will you admit that you've killed other people? Well, yes. You've killed other people, how many? That's irrelevant. Dan pas ditanya gimana perasaannya pas aksinya ketahuan, ini jawabannya. Kind of relieved, actually. Why relieved? Well, because finally. Finally what? No, I just um. Finally, they caught you. Yeah. Because you've been doing this for a while. Yeah. For how long? A while. Jelas ini nambah PR buat polisi dan perlu waktu lama buat mastiin apakah ini benar atau enggak. Tapi pas di interview lagi beberapa tahun setelahnya, setelah kasusnya udah selesai dan hukuman udah dijatuhin, Angela ngaku kalau selama ini dia bohong. You claimed that uh, that other people had been killed in that same part. You had killed other people. Have you killed anyone? No, I've never killed anyone else. So that was something that was talk. Right. Angela dideskripsiin sebagai orang yang mengerikan, sampai-sampai sipir penjara aja yang sehari-hari berurusan dengan penjahat sadis takut sama dia. Simpson is a very scary person. She is just by the nature of her crimes and the way that she has been here and just her manners and that. She just doesn't have seem to have a lot of those um, inhibition controls that most people would. And because of that, she can be very much a threat to staff. Simpson, I think, is a very scary individual. She's probably the only one in there that I uh, take every precaution in the world uh, to make sure my staff and myself are, are safe. She is the one in this whole jail that creeps me out, for a better word. You know, she just, you know, you just don't know what she's going to do. I have never met an inmate who made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I heard they said I was possessed by the devil.
I think that's hilarious, isn't that beautiful? Susah banget nyari info tentang masa lalu Angela ini. Dan dia sendiri nggak mau nyeritain banyak. Pas kejadian, umurnya 33 tahun dan dia punya 4 anak. Walaupun nggak diketahui siapa bapaknya. Dia juga ngaku kalau dari kecil jiwa dia udah bermasalah. Right. I started being hospitalized at 10 years old. I have a mental history from 10 years old till present, so... Dan gak lama setelah dirawat ini, dia mulai terjerumus ke dunia narkoba. Cuman segitu yang diketahui, tapi jelas Angela tumbuh dan hidup di lingkungan yang gak bener. Dimana narkoba, kejahatan, dan kekerasan dianggap sebagai hal yang normal. Gak heran kalau karena lingkungannya ini, dia jadi gak suka sama penegak hukum. Tapi Angela semacam punya kebencian yang mendalam. They use their authority in any way they want to because they can. And there's nothing anybody can... She seems to have a true gang type mentality. No cop is a good cop. Where does that come from? Where does it come from? Your hatred of cops. That's not something I'll discuss. Di penjara sekalipun dia nggak takut buat nunjukin kebenciannya terhadap polisi. Di waktu luangnya dia bikin gambar-gambar babi yang disiksa. Karena di Amerika pigs atau babi adalah sebutan buat polisi. What's happening in this picture? A cop has been captured and we're having fun with him. Yeah, it's just a Christmas card, but they get uncomfortable when they find these things. You don't think that that's slightly insulting to them? Or slightly threatening? No. Tapi masih ada yang lebih dia benci dari polisi, yaitu informan polisi. Di otak dia, informan polisi atau intel itu hampir sama bejatnya dengan pemerkosa anak. I believe informants and child molesters should be killed, period. Chomos are definitely, definitely beyond any doubt the worst and most vile creatures on the planet. Snitches then would come in second, and cops would be third. Dari jawaban-jawaban Angela tadi, nggak kaget kan kalau dia nggak ragu buat nyiksa dan ngebunuh Terry yang dia percaya adalah seorang intel. Tapi yang bikin tragis itu sebenarnya Terry bukan intel. Dan sama sekali nggak ada ikatan sama kepolisian ataupun tercatat pernah ngadu ke polisi. Aku nggak tahu kan gimana, tapi fakta ini bener-bener bikin aku sakit banget sih. Kalaupun bener dia itu intel, tetap aja dia nggak layak buat dibunuh. Tapi pas tahu ternyata dia bukan tuh gimana ya? Aku nggak tahu cara ngejelasinnya, tapi jelas aku nggak ikhlas hidupnya harus berakhir dengan cara yang sebegitu menyakitkannya buat alasan yang ternyata bahkan gak bener. Ditambah lagi kayak susah dipercaya aja kalau Terry yang menurut kenalannya adalah orang yang baik bisa bohong sejauh itu ke Angela. Dan kalaupun emang beneran dia bohong, menurutku Angela juga gak sepercaya itu. You believe him? You think he really was a snitch? Oops, if he wasn't. Yes, I, I believe he was. Yeah. Yeah. Kelihatannya Angela lebih ke nggak peduli apakah Terry beneran intel atau bukan. Karena menurut dia ngaku-ngaku jadi intel aja udah salah banget. Dan bagi dia itu udah cukup jadi alasan buat Terry nggak layak hidup lagi. What put you in that position to do that to that? It was just too much. The things he talked about, it was just, it was too much. Do you believe him? I mean, lots of people go around well, claiming I'm a snitch or make themselves... <laughs> really, you don't say. People right. say lots of things to make themselves sort of... Look. Well, he picked the wrong to say that to if he wanted to brag about putting so many people in prison uh you pick the wrong person and that's what that's what did it to him that's what that's why what, what the bragging the bragging oh, yeah. about putting people in prison right di balik itu semua walaupun mungkin bukan faktor utamanya Angela sendiri ngakuin kalau juga ada unsur ras other than shooting his mouth off what else did he do that you know of that's not that's what he that's what he got done for He's white trash. Somebody had to take it out. That's it. Was there a racial component to it? Oh, there's always a racial component. Yeah, the fact that you're you're uh, a black woman and he's a white guy that factored into your killing him. Yeah. I wouldn't kill another black individual. Tapi pada akhirnya dia bilang kalau alasan dia ngebunuh itu nggak penting. That really doesn't matter. Why did you guys want to kill me? Phoenix wanted to kill me. What's the difference? Everybody has a reason to kill. My reason might not be good to you, but your reason wasn't good to me. So. Karena pada dasarnya dia percaya kalau membunuh adalah hal yang wajar buat dilakuin. You're sort of an interesting character, because you know, first of all, women generally don't commit crimes this heinous. Right. Uh, you know, this is usually the domain of men. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you think more women? Oh yeah, equal opportunity, definitely. And I know you're being sort of a 
Smart Alex. Slightly sarcastic. Ini jawaban dia pas ditanya seberapa jahatnya pembunuh kalau dibandingin dengan intel dan pemerkosa anak yang dia sebutin tadi. How about even the murder of people? What about it? Where did they fall? And where? In your hierarchy. Of badness? They don't. You want to throw murderers in with cops and chomos? Are you serious? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> you can't put murderers in a category with f***ed up people. That doesn't make any sense. Rest assured, if somebody killed it, they had a reason to f*** do it. You need to be looking at the dead mother not the mother that killed it. Perlu dicatat kalau di sini dia nyebut korban pembunuhan dengan kata ganti it yang dalam bahasa Inggris biasanya digunain buat hewan atau benda mati. You need to be looking at the dead mother not the mother that killed it. Kelihatan kalau di mata dia korban pembunuhan itu enggak dianggap manusia. Will you kill again? If the opportunity arises, I hope so. Angela berkali-kali ditanya apakah dia merasa bersalah. Gak ngagetin kalau gini jawabannya. Angela, do you feel guilty? Guilty? For ridding the world of a snitch? No, I don't feel guilty. You don't regret killing this guy? I don't regret killing him, no. In court today you said uh, you're not here to pretend to be remorseful. Of course not. Why would I do that? Are you remorseful? Not at all. Why? Why would I be? Would you have any guilt about Hear that Guilt, yes. I'm overrun with remorse. <laughs> Tapi ada kok satu hal yang dia sesalin, yang dia sayangkan justru adalah Terry harusnya menderita lebih lama lagi. If you had that moment to live over again, I'd have kept him alive a week. But you would have still tortured him and killed him. Oh, I'd have tortured him for a week, yeah, instead of three days, definitely. So your only regret is that the torture didn't go on anymore. Right. Dia begitu yakin kalau dia udah berbuat hal yang benar. So I've been covering murder and mayhem and covered serial killers to petty shoot 'em ups, and uh, you don't meet many women who commit the kind of uh, calculated, long-term murder that you committed with this guy. Uh, and you don't meet many people who are willing to say I did it, and you know what? Deal with it. Right. That's the way it should be, in my opinion. Are you? But you seem so. You, you, you seem like you're sort of just. I, I, I'm sort of almost self-righteous about. I, I did this and I did. Do you think you did the right thing by killing this guy? Definitely. Sehingga dia nggak peduli sama sekali sama pendapat orang-orang. Dia nggak peduli apakah dia dihujat. The media says you did some pretty heinous things. <laughs> that bug you? Does it bug me? What people say? No. My give up is broke. I really don't. I don't know. No concern for what people think. Atau dikasihanin. Do you care that anyone feels sorry for you? Do you want any? Feel sorry for me. Yeah. Do you should should the people who are watching this say because she had a bad child? Of course not. Because she had has mental illness. Of course not. No. That we should feel some sympathy. For no. You. you would not have that. I want no sympathy. No. What then? Then do you care what anybody thinks? No. Angela Simpson. What no. I don't. People are going to believe what they want to believe. Judge the way they want to judge, just like I do. So, so be it. Dia benar-benar pede kalau prinsip dia adalah yang paling benar. Dan kalau sampai ada yang anggap dia nggak benar, orang itulah yang salah. You think something's wrong with you? <laughs> I think something's wrong with the world that I live in, but um, according to other people, yes, something is wrong. Dia sepenuhnya yakin dengan dia ngebunuh Terry keadilan dari tegakin, sehingga dia nggak peduli apa konsekuensinya buat dia. Justice. Justice is lovely. What are you thinking? When I said justice is lovely, what were you thinking? I was thinking how you feel about justice if they give you the death. That's exactly what I knew you were thinking. <laughs> I'll be thinking the same thing. That justice is beautiful. Justice is lovely. Wajar banget kalau kalian mikir Angela hatinya udah mati rasa. Tapi sebenarnya dia masih punya perasaan. Satu-satunya hal yang bikin Angela nunjukin emosinya adalah saat ngebahas tentang orang-orang terdekatnya, terutama anak-anaknya. Do you have family? I do. Yeah. From an adoptive family or I have four bio- children. You have four children. I do have four children. Where are they? Al Mirage. What is uh, how they doing? Uh, and 
How is it for you to be separated from them? I, I don't want to talk about my children. Can't do that. Selain itu dia juga ngebahas tentang teman-temannya yang ngkhianatin dia dan kalian bisa lihat kalau ini benar-benar membuat dia kecewa. I regret the fact that my co-defendants found it necessary to uh, divulge so much information to the detectives. I regret that they were people I really cared about and uh, I regret that they were near me or around me at any point. And then helped prosecutors. Help the prosecution, correct? You were and they of those people. Definitely because they didn't know they weren't actually with me during any of my crimes. So for them to say that they were to try to get lesser sentences was a little heartbreaking. So friends of yours lied to prosecutors and lied to police. Correct. Drop the dime on you. Correct. They snitched on you. Correct. Tapi walaupun dia udah dianatin sebegitu parahnya, dia tetap nggak mau balas dendam, nunjukin seberapa loyal dan menghargainya dia sama hubungan-hubungan yang dia punya. If you could, would you do to them what uh, you did no, to Gary? No, I would not. Because you still have some relationship with them, or? Well, no, but they were. I had a claimed a bond with them at one point, so I, I wouldn't be able to avenge that. Yeah. Kalau nginget-nginget betapa sadis jawaban Angela yang lain, mungkin agak ngegetin kalau ternyata masih ada hal-hal yang bisa ngebuat dia masih punya rasa peduli sebesar itu. Dan kepedulian ini juga lah yang jadi faktor kenapa dia ngerenggut nyawa Terry. I don't want my um, my children or the people I consider family to be in a place where there are snitches. How do you feel about spending the rest of your life in prison? You know, I got a lot of family in prison, and uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I got many sisters in prison. I can't wait to see them. It's really not that much of a punishment to be sentenced to spend my life with my family. Do you think that it was fair today? It was justice in that quote. No, I don't. Why? I should have gotten the death penalty. Do you, did you want the death penalty? No, no, I'd prefer to spend my life with my sisters, but uh, yeah, I do believe that would have been justice. So you deserve death penalty, but you're glad that you got what you got right. because you... Right. Kalian dari tadi pasti giling-giling kepala dengerin jawabannya. Tapi bagi aku, bagian paling perindingnya justru pas interviewnya selesai. Mungkin udah bosen berakting sebagai psikopat, Angela tiba-tiba senyum-senyum. Oke, okay, let's, we're done. Are you done? Yeah. Dan gelagatnya yang sangat dingin tadi tiba-tiba hilang. Good shit, dude. That's gonna be crazy, isn't it? <laughs> That's gonna be wicked. Make it look good, please. Oh, you're scared to put this on too? Well, like, you know, I know. Don't put the ending on. Menurut kalian gimana? Karena bagian terakhir tadi aku malah jadi bertanya-tanya Apakah jawaban Angela beneran pendapat dia yang sejujurnya? Atau selama ini dia cuma nyoba-nyoba jawaban yang menurut dia paling kontroversial? Karena dia tahu dengan dia ngasih jawaban sesadis-sadisnya Dia bakal jadi bahan obrolan Dan mungkin emang ini yang Angela mau Dimana walaupun dia udah ditangkap dan gak bisa berbuat apa-apa lagi Dia masih pengen membuat orang gak tenang dan terus bertanya-tanya Aku rekomendasiin kalian nonton interview fullnya yang udah aku taruh di bawah. Karena kalau di sini kan udah aku potong-potong sama atur lagi. Kalau kalian nonton lengkap dari awal sampai akhir lebih berasa sih betapa sakitnya Angela ini. Mungkin video dengan kasus brutal ini enaknya ditutup dengan pesan yang mau disampaikan atau pelajaran yang bisa diambil. Tapi emangnya ada. Ini jawaban Angela. Is there a message for what is there a bottom line or a lesson to be learned from the story of Angela Simpson? There's a bottom line to everything. But... What, what is the bottom line to this story? whatever people want it to be if i it, it doesn't what matter do what i say 